Okay, so this MacBook definitely is not perfect. I've had a lot of real annoying issues that I've had to deal with even up until this day. And the specs that I've been working with are the 14 inch base model with 512 gigabytes of SSD, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and an eight core CPU and 14 core GPU M1 Pro chip. But don't be fooled. My real world experience has generally been excellent and I wanna first start off with the professional work that I do. I bought this laptop for two reasons. Number one, to speed up my video creation workflow, and number two, to allow me to do things creatively that previously was not possible on the M1 MacBook Air. And generally, it's done that with flying colors, with a few exceptions. I can now plug in my ultra wide monitor natively into my MacBook as it now supports a HDMI port. In my video editing workflow, I can work with motion graphics and animations within Final Cut Pro with relative ease, thanks to the addition of 14 GPU cores, which is exactly double the included seven GPU cores in the M1 MacBook Air. I sometimes still experience quite a bit of lag, even on this new Pro machine when I am video editing, but that generally only happens when I have a bunch of motion graphics just like popping up everywhere all at once. But generally this MacBook Pro can do a lot more and is more capable than the MacBook Air. And on a side note, uh, the fans of this new MacBook computer rarely kick in. I can't even remember when the fans were running. Like this laptop is very efficient with heat management for the kind of work that I do. This laptop also now has an SD card reader, but from my personal experience, it kind of sucks. Like it, it's actually really bad at transferring my files and moving things over. It's always crashing and not working properly. I've actually had to resort to using a third party USB-C hub that has an SD card reader built into it, which is pretty frustrating considering how expensive these laptops are to begin with. I know for a fact that I am not alone on this and there are other people online who are experiencing the same issue. So I definitely will have to take my laptop to get service at Apple eventually. And another odd thing is that Final Cut Pro has crashed multiple times on my MacBook. No exaggeration, I will be in the midst of hardcore video editing and then boom, Final Cut Pro crashes and my life is over for like a second. <laughs> I have not figured out why this is the case. If I'm gonna make a wild guess, I think it has to do with some type of memory related issue that's going on with Mac OS and these new MacBook computers. I don't really know for sure, but it happens quite often every single week for that matter but I can very quickly reopen Final Cut Pro and just resume back into my session when it does happen. But let's get back to the good things. The display on this laptop is fantastic. It makes it hard to want to use any other display because it just looks so damn good. My 4K footage looks terrific on it. I can edit all the fine details given the display's immense amount of dynamic range. It also has been great to use when photo editing in Adobe Lightroom. I shoot all of the thumbnails you see on my YouTube channel in raw images, and it's been great to see all the micro adjustments I am doing to my pictures given the high quality of the screen. For my entertainment purposes, which is generally pretty minimal as I actually only use the MacBook Pro to actually do real work, it's been a good experience to consume content casually. The display plays a big part in that. Not only does it look fantastic when viewing 4K and HDR content, but the variable ProMotion refresh rate is also something I just cannot give up moving forward. I love how smooth everything is, and I'm excited to see more apps support this higher refresh rate in the future. As for the speakers on this laptop, they get very loud and actually have a really good bass profile. It's easily the best speaker setup in any laptop, period. I don't only use the MacBook Pro at home. I actually do take it with me on the go quite often, almost every single day. I ordered the 14 inch size specifically for this reason, and it's been a great travel companion. It's the perfect size for any small bag if you like to carry light like me. I'm personally using a black leather carrying bag from Harbor London. I primarily do a lot of research and word processing with this laptop when I'm on the go, and the keyboard experience has been excellent. Something about this iteration of the Magic Keyboard just feels a little bit different. It feels more responsive and tactile than my previous M1 MacBook Air. We can't keep talking about travel with this laptop without bringing up battery life, and it varies depending on how you use it. If it's purely for entertainment use, 
this laptop will easily last me over two days before needing to charge it. I very rarely bring my charger with me unless I know I'm gonna be doing hardcore work on my laptop on the go. If that was the case, and I was gonna be working in Final Cut Pro and Adobe Lightroom, I can very easily kill this laptop in like three to four hours. And one thing that scares me about the creative process outside of my laptop just dying on me in the middle of it is losing my data. And thankfully, today's video sponsor, Recoverit, has us covered. Recoverit is a data recovery software that serves various data loss situations to help you get your files back. This includes photos, videos, and essential documents. And it's not just the data on your computer's drive that it can recover. It also works with lost data in external hard drives, USB drives, memory cards, and more. The amazing thing about this software is that you can download it for free without a commitment right away. It will complete a free scan of your impacted device and ensure that the data is recoverable and intact before paying for the software. Honestly speaking, this is actually the kind of software we all know we need, but we'll just keep skipping on it until we inevitably have a data loss. Today might be a good time to reconsider, as you can click my link in the description down below to get started with Recoverit today for 20% off. Thank you Recoverit for sponsoring today's video. As for my final thoughts on this laptop, regardless of all the annoyances that I've been dealing with, the new 2021 MacBook Pro is a very handy machine. I don't regret my purchase, and if you have the budget to go buy one of these, I don't think you're gonna regret it either.